Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, here we go. Welcome back. We are going to start now. Welcome to all of you. Hey, welcome, welcome. I hope that all of you feel really good in order to be in the class today. Good night, teacher. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good. Nice. And you? I am tired, teacher, but but I am happy because... Okay, a little tired, a little tired. Yes, a little tired. Tired, tired. Just a little tired, okay?
Okay, we are going to start with a review about the topic. Okay, you said, okay, I got your messages. So. Okay, uh, try to open this link and we are going to start doing a review related uh, with the topic that we studied yesterday. So you are going to be busy uh, until we wait for the rest. Teacher, ¿y después de terminar esa? We are going to wait a little bit.
Did you finish? I yes, teacher. I finished. Okay. Teacher only if it's uh, true or false. Yes, only the true. Okay, thank you. Okay, hold on a second. I'm trying to send you something else. Okay, you got it there. Try to download it and you can type on it because it's a Microsoft Word file. Then we are going to talk about how much and how many. But if you want, we can resolve uh, right here. Let me show you. I'm going to show you. Let me get bigger in order to, to show you. It is just to make a review. Okay, let me know if you can see it. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, teacher. I yes, see. teacher. Okay, say carnival and uncarnival noun. Review. Fill in the blank. Use is or are. It's up to you. You are going to decide in 
and which one you are going to put is or are. The second part say match the question with the, the answer. You are going to look which one is the right one. And the next part, write the missing word, use how much or how many. And then we can resolve number four, but or we can do it later on. But let us work the first and the second part. Okay, let us um, fill the cup. I got their meal in the fridge. Which one I'm going to use it? Is or are? <laughs> There are. There are because milk. are are two two um, liters of milk. It's plural teacher. But but in this case, I'm talking about meal or I'm talking about the container of the meal. Container. Estamos hablando de leche o de galones o de litros. ¿De qué estoy hablando? De leche. Ah, entonces, then. There is milk in the fridge. Ah, there is milk in the fridge. Okay, we need to be careful about it. What about the number two? There are, teacher. There are. There are eggs in the fridge there are eggs in the fridge okay number three Igual manera. there are apples on the counter there are apple on the counter okay number four there is there is the beef. beef beef number five there is there is juice in the fridge. Okay, number six. There, there are orange in the back. Oranges, oranges, orange, in oranges in the back. Okay, I'm going to let you resolve number two. Match the question with the answer. How much are the watermelon? We need to look for the price. Which one do you consider is the right one? Let our eat each other. They are five each. Letter E. We need to draw a line. Letter. Letter E. Okay, you said this one. Yes, teacher. Yes. They are five dollar each. Okay, number eight. How much is the chicken? Letter eight. Letter B. This one. Yes. What about number nine? Do we do we have milk? Letter eight. Are you sure? D. No. Yes. Letter D. D. Yes, we do. Letter D. Letter D. Letter D. D. How many cookies do we have? Letter A. 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 How much money do you have? We have. Ten thousand dollars. Here, see. Okay. Nice. Okay, I need to erase this in order to show something else. Necesito borrar esto para mostrar algo más, si no va a quedarnos ahí.
Okay, in a hurry. Así rapidito, porque es un review. Uh, write the missing word. Use how much or how many. Just tell me. If you got the answer, tell me number 12, please. How many carrots do we have? How many carrots do we have? Okay, perfect. Number 13. How, how much, much meat? meat do we have? How much? Okay, how much meat do we have? How much? How much cheese in the fridge? How much cheese? Okay, number 15. How, how many, many candies candy 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 do we have? Do you have? Okay, candies, candies. 16. How many sandwiches do, how do you need for work? Many. How many sandwiches? Sandwiches. Do sandwiches do you need for work? Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Okay, 17. How much? How much? Meal. 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 How Meal. much? Meal. How much? How much? How much? How much? How many hamburgers? How many hamburgers? Then the last one. Okay. Look at the picture, right? The missing word in the sentence. We are going to, to talk. There is in the fridge. Okay, tell me. What can you see there? Okay, let me show you. Okay. Seria teacher, there is how, um, how many eggs? No, 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 no. No, hamburger. Um, there is watermelon in the fridge. Melon. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Repeat again, please, gentlemen. There is watermelon in the fridge. Something is missing there. Algo only, only is one. Falta el quantifier. There is, there is. A watermelon in the ah, fridge. There, there is a watermelon. Ah, okay, that way is right. Next one. There is a cake. There is a cake. Okay. Next. There are eggs. Eggs in the Ed. fridge. Ed. In the fridge. Ed. How many eggs do we have? They are fruit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Mami, mira, Winda. Well, I guess you already got some idea about that. You can share the file with all of you in order that you can fill it and have it there. If you want, you can print it and then have it and keep it for you. Let me check out the attendance now. Okay, ya hicimos un review. Ya vi que. Que si andan en la jugada. Okay, let me check out the attendance now. America Elizabeth Cruz. No se ha presentado ninguno. Not here. Ana Iris Alvarado. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Blanca Esperanza. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Cecilia Maribel. Present. Okay, welcome. Uh, Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alexis, Nahir, Edwin Alfredo, 
present teacher. Okay. Francisco. Francisco. Beer. Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Um, Gisela Guadalupe. Hi, teacher. I am here. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ingrid Geraldina. Ingrid. It's not here. Okay. Uh, Ivania Lisette. Lis No. Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Jose Ernesto Alemán. Present teacher. Don Jose Luis Beltrán. I don't see, I don't see him. Hemos llegado hoy. Karina Vanessa. Present teacher. Is there? Okay. Katherine Marcela. Not here. Katherine Paola. Good evening. Good evening. Present. Welcome. Candy, not Natalie. Present teacher. Step two. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Roxana. Present teacher. Welcome, Rose. Thank you. And Elizabeth. Present teacher. Welcome. Sara Alejandra. Oh, is there two? Janet del Carmen. Good evening, teacher. Present. Okay, good evening. Yesenia Lisset. Yesenia Lisset. Still here. Jessica Beatriz. It's not here too. Okay, here we go. Let us start now talking about the new topic. Today we are going to talk about something that you already know because uh, we talk about in the previous module. That means that it's going to be easy for you. We are going to talk about daily routines. Do you remember that? What, what can you tell me about? Tell me, what do you remember? Uh, shower. Ah, okay. Take a shower. Ah, take, take a shower. shower. Okay, take a shower. Get out in the morning. Get up. Grab, wash it, brush. Okay. What else? My brush my stick. Okay, another one. In my case, uh, I get up, take a shower, I go to my work, and 
in the night in at night i go to the church okay, you go to the church yes teacher okay that is pretty good okay let us see the vocabulary we are going to see some key words for example uh, wake up or get up but what about if I am going to use it with he or she. The pronunciation is not going to be the same because if I say I wake up or I get up, if I say he wakes up, he gets up. Listen to the pronunciation. I wake up, I get up. He wakes up, he gets up. Can, can you get what I'm trying to say? Agregamos la S, teacher. Wait. Yes, yes. Right here. And right here. Okay, repeat. Wake up. Wake up. Get up. Wake up. Get up. Get up. If I add an S. Hold on. If I add an S, uh -uh. I'm not difficult to put it in the right way. What about if I put in this way, ways up, ways up. The same way is going to be right here, get up. Only when we use it with he, she, and it. Okay, do you remember that? With 30 pairs on each of Yes, only with them. Only with them. Okay, the next one, have breakfast. Have breakfast. Say it, say it, say it with me, please. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Okay. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Okay, next one, brush your teeth. Brush my teeth. In your case, you are going to say, brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Yeah, repeat. Brush, Brush my, my teeth. teeth. Brush my teeth. What about if I use it with he? How am I am going to say? She brushes. She brushes. Brushes. What about here? Her teeth. His teeth. He, I'm sorry. His teeth. His teeth. Okay. What about this one? How do you read it? Take a shower. Ah, take a shower. Okay, take a shower. What about if uh if we use she? She. She takes a shower. She, she takes a shower. Okay, she takes a shower. Nice. What else? Get dressed. Repeat. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Okay. What about he gets dressed? Okay, next. Go to school. Go to school. Go to school. Go if, to school. If I say she, how is going to switch this verb? She goes to a school. She goes to school or he goes to school. Perfect. Okay, next. 
Okay. I study English. How I can create a sentence based on the picture? Tell me. ¿Cómo creo esa oración? Usando study English and taking into account the picture. Y tomando en cuenta la imagen. Dime. He studies. He ¿Sí? studies English. He studies English. Okay. Yes. He yes, studies. She has studied. She studies English. Okay. What about practice the guitar? Create the sentence, please. He practices, he, he the, practices guitar. the guitar. Okay. She practices the guitar. He practices the guitar. Right here, we need to add an inflection. Okay, the next one, I have lunch. What about if I want to talk about a girl? How can I say it? She has ah, lunch. She has lunch. She has lunch. Next one, do your homework. Do my homework. What about using this picture? Come on, you can do it. Um, That's her homework teacher. But you miss the, the subject. The personal pronoun. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh huh. Tell me. She do the homework. She. Tiene que ser das. No do, porque es la regla. Perfect. Yeah. She, she does her homework. Ah, nice. Because you need to move this one. She does, she does her homework. homework. If I got a picture of a boy here, I'm going to say he does his homework. His homework. Okay, perfect. What about cook dinner? Cook dinner. Let us use uh, she. He is cook's dinner. Okay, repeat, repeat, repeat again, please. He is cook's dinner. Uh, you have an extra word there. Tenemos una palabra de más ahí. Ah, he cooks dinner. Ah, ah, okay. He, he cooks, cooks dinner. He yes. Cooks dinner. What about this one? We are going to use all of them at the beginning. They watch TV. The, the family watches TV. Excuse me? They watch TV. Okay, that is pretty good. But, but what about the lady? The lady says something. Ah, sorry, sorry. Hello, lady. And the family watches TV. What about if I only just take into account this one? How can I create the sentence? 
He watches TV. He watches TV. Okay, perfect. Okay. What about this? Come on, you can do it. He reads. He reads. He reads a book. He reads a book. He reads a book. Okay. And the last one. Come on, somebody else. He goes to the bed. He goes to the bed. Okay, I'm going to stop here. All of you are going to share with me your daily routine using the vocabulary that we already have started. Okay, try to create in your mind all those words that you need in order to communicate with me and share your daily routine. Who wants to start saying that? From the moment that you wake up until you go to bed. Okay, who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? <clears throat> come on, come on, you can do it. Repeat, please, teacher. I need that you share with the class your daily routine. Starting with the moment that you wake up and ending at the moment that you go to bed. You don't understand, teacher. Hola? I didn't understand. You didn't understand? Okay, what you are going to do is just to share with me your daily routine. You are going to say, for example, in my case, I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, then I get up... Uh, I fire out the fire, then I take a shower and so on. That is what I want to hear from you, okay? Okay. Okay. I wake up at um, 6 a.m. And after I brush my teeth and after um, take a shower, uh, after go to my work in and now now I uh, um take my lunch okay in the end um return to my house in I play with my daughters and I study English. Okay. And after um, go to the bed uh, approximately um, 10 p.m. Uh, 10 p.m., okay. That is your daily routine. Thank you. Somebody got what to do. Okay, I'm waiting. Somebody want to do it? Hello? Teacher. Jonathan. Okay, teacher. And Why, Jonathan? Okay, I get up fire club. AM, I got bathroom and I have a shower. 
I got my job by bus. Um, I bread, I breakfast and six thirty a.m. and in the office I made a call customer and I eat my lunch and and. Only that, teacher. Okay, thank you. Somebody wants to do it. Participación activa, dice uno de los puntos. Participación activa. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Gabriela. I get up and take a shower, I eat my food, I go to work and I return to my house. Um, I go to church. When I return to my house, I go to wash the uniform of my baby and I go to my class. When the class finish, I go to my bed. But I want to do it, can not. Ali mas, Ali mas. No. Somebody out, please. Next. Okay, anybody else? No? I am giving you the chance to participate. It's up to you if you don't want to do it. I don't want to be just looking your name on the on the list and and say your name in order that you participate. Come on, you can do it. Teacher, maybe my oh, my partners uh, didn't understand. Could be. Ok, lo que necesito es que todos participen compartiendo su rutina diaria desde que se despierta hasta que se va a la cama. But don't forget that you need to mention all the duties and activities that you perform in your job. Don't forget that, please. No olviden mencionar las actividades que realizan dentro de su trabajo. This es parte de su rutina.
share ideas with the rest of the class, please. Teacher, I say my daily routine, but I didn't know uh, say um, activities in my work. You didn't mention any activity in your job, right? Yes. Ah, okay. In my job is um, uh, read and send a lot of emails. Okay, but but before that, uh, what time yes. do you arrive to your job? I have meeting with my with my partners, co-worker. Okay. And I I supervise um, my executive. Okay, what else? Made made reports for my for my boss. Ah, okay. What time do you arrive to your job? What time do you leave from your job? Tell me. Approximately 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else wants to do it. ¿Quién más comparte? Gisela is there. Okay. Um, my daily, my daily routine. In the morning, I wake up very early because I go to my job. And, and, and later, I I brush, I brush my teeth and I prepare my breakfast. After that, and I take a bus because I go to the job. And later in my job, and I send emails, a lot of emails. And go for um uh, and later 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 and commute in app applicable and read emails and respond to correspondence and later review project plans and daily calendar and work on project in the af in the afternoon i return my my home my house and I I and that's it to try Teacher, lo voy a intentar, a ver qué tal. Ok, ok, go ahead. Um, my routine. Daily, ¿Cómo sería mi rutina diaria, teacher? My daily routine. Ok, my daily routine. I get up in the morning. I brush my tooth. My teeth. I, teeth. Ok, I brush my teeth. I take a shower, I go to the work, I breakfast, I teacher como preparar la preparar clase sería I pre prepare the class. I prepare my classes. Okay, prepare my class. Um I return I return to my house in the night. At night. And at night, ayer me dijo eso, es cierto. At night, eh, I have a dinner, I brush my teeth, y finally, finality, finally, 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 I sleep. 
Okay, I go to sleep. I go to sleep. Goes to sleep. Okay. Or yes, you can it. say, I go to bed. I go to bed. Y finalmente me voy para la cama. Algunos nos vamos directo ya a dormir, otros todavía siguen subiendo el dedo así o haciéndole así. <laughs> In the cell phone, you know. Hay que madrugar, teacher. Ya no se puede. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Okay, nice. Let us continue then. Uh, let me check out the chat. Francisco say present. Okay, let me see here. Where is Fran? Fran, 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 Francisco. Veamos dónde está Francisco. Ah, Francisco is there. Dice presente en Sara. Let me see where is Sara. Sara, Sara. Yeah, okay, it's done. Okay, let us continue then. Let me see the previous one of this. <laughs> Okay, we are going to talk about negative statements. Let us talk about negative statement. I don't cook, I don't clean. This man is singing something, right? Okay, take a look at this. Not this one. Okay, I don't play, we don't play, you don't play, they don't play. That means that we are going to use done with I, we, you, and they. Okay, and we are going to use doesn't with he, she, and it. He doesn't play. She doesn't play. It doesn't play. Okay, try to keep in mind what am I saying? <laughs> Only with this one, we are going to use doesn't. Okay, what about this one? If I want to create it uh, in a negative way, I'm going to use don't or doesn't. It doesn't play. It doesn't. It doesn't play it doesn't tennis. Doesn't play tennis. Uh -huh. Okay, but before to do this, let me stop here. Let us try to talk about your daily routine but using negatives. For example, I can say, I don't wake up early. I don't wake up early. I wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. Ah, I'm, I'm using negative, but at the same time positive. Okay, who wants to try? Hola, ¿quién quiere probar haciendo una oración negativa y luego una positiva? Referencia a la rutina diaria. Ok. 
For example, mm -hmm. so, somebody can say, uh, teacher. Hello? I take a shower. I don't go to the bed. Ah, okay, something like that. Something like that. And uh, for, I, I for have example, idea. I'm sorry. For example, and for example, I usually I usually take a bus, but I don't I don't take a bus. I don't take a bus because I prefer walk on the street. Or maybe it could be in that way, or maybe you can say, uh, I never drive my car to my job because, and you can start talking about that. I don't cook my breakfast. Mm. I prefer to buy it in McDonald's. Ah, you are related, related new vocabulary. That is what I want to see. Okay, Edwin, your turn, sir. I'm sorry. I, I don't go to the gym, but I play soccer in the weekend. Okay, okay, nice. What else you can add in your daily routine using negative and positive? ¿Qué más podemos agregar en nuestra rutina haciendo uso de negativos y positivos? Ok, bueno, well, uh, estoy mirando que quizás para algunos es complejo. Voy a dar otros ejemplos. Ok, I'm going to show you this. Teacher. Hello. Podría decirse uh, in the morning I drink coffee. I drink coffee. Okay, that is positive. Ajá, uh -huh. luego but I don't I don't have perdón, I don't drink coffee in the afternoon. Sería así, como en las mañanas sí bebo café, pero en las tardes no, lo hago. Yeah, could be in that way. Too. I drink coffee in the morning, but I don't drink. I don't drink it in the afternoon. Ok, thank you. Ok, Mauricio, Antonio. Eh, Podría ser, teacher. Uh, I usually don't take my breakfast in the house. Uh, always eat on the work. I always eat on, okay. Okay, nice. What about this one? I have done and that's in. They run. What, which one I'm going to use it? This one or this? That's in. Really? Why? They don't. Uh -huh. they, don't. Uh, they, don't. they don't. They don't. They don't run. They don't run. Be careful about this. Come on. Okay, what about this one? Don't or doesn't? We don't play hockey. 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 We don't play hockey. Okay. What about this one? She doesn't skip. She doesn't skip.
Next. She doesn't, she doesn't jump. jump. She doesn't jump. It's negative, okay? They don't. They don't play basketball. They don't. They don't play basketball. They, they play soccer. Okay, one more. Teacher, but, I have a but, question. Okay, your question. Tell me. But, no. In the other example, yeah. uh, yes, in pronunciation about bas basketball or basketball? No, basketball. Basketball. Okay, thank you. Because uh, maybe you get confused with baseball is different. Baseball is different. And this one is basketball. Okay, teacher. Maybe you got confused with baseball. Yes, yes, yes. Because this is basketball. But sometimes we don't say basketball. We say BKB. In a colloquial way, we don't mention basketball. We say we play BKB. It's a short way. Okay. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Okay, what about this one? They don't, teacher. They don't play games. They don't play they don't, games. They don't play games, okay. They don't play games. And the others, the book, I don't, I don't see. Which one? I don't see the, the others, the others, the others picture. Talking about the pre previous one? Yes. Are if I don't see, if I don't see example. But I, it, no, no, no. Is the, the, the book, book. Ah, right here? Yes, yes, of course. Okay, how can we create that, that sentence? Um, I, I think that book doesn't sing. Okay, but in this way, what happened with the letter S if we put doesn't? Because it's 30 person or? Yes, I, I got you, but if I put this in the middle, I need to drop the S. Ah, S and oh, okay. That, 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 exactly. is the rule. that is the rule. But, okay, the rule. Oh, but lo voy a explicar, the... en, lo voy a explicar en español. Mm -hmm. Aquí en esta oración yo necesito meter das en aquí. Aquí voy a quitar el inflexión porque no puedo tener dos inflexiones en la oración. ¿Me comprenden eso? Yes. Okay, bueno. Sería sí. únicamente Bob doesn't sing. Bob doesn't sing, sí, porque ya tengo este, no puedo tener dos. Perfecto. Buen ojo. Okay, we already talked about this one. What about this one? Let us talk about Ben rides a bike. Ben doesn't ride. <laughs> Doesn't ride a bike. Sería, sería igual, ¿verdad? Bob yes. doesn't ride a bike. Yeah. Ben doesn't, doesn't ride a bike. bike. Este es el famoso ride. La gente dice, dame ride, dame ride. Pero ellos no saben realmente cómo es. Okay, what else do we have here? Let me see. What about this one? Lo que no han participado, por favor, creen una. Come on, you can do it too. Don't understand. Sería, teacher, Tom doesn't play football. Okay, negative. Tom doesn't play football. We are going to drop the letter. Teacher, y si fuera en primera persona, podría ser I don't. 
don't play bas I, basketball. I don't, I, I, don't play, I don't play. I don't play. Let me write it down for you. Si lo hago en primera persona, podría decir así. I don't. Okay, I'm going to put in a in capital letter. I don't I don't play BKB. Ahí está. Clear? Yes or no? Yes. No. What about this one? They, they climb, don't. They climb the climb. tree. Which one? I'm going to use it. Don't or doesn't. They don't. They don't climb the they tree. Don't. Don't. They don't. They don't climb the tree. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the next one. Um, and dance and dance. The same. And? The same dance. That's and dance, okay. What else? Okay, what about this one? We sing. We don't sing. sing. We, we don't. don't. We don't sing that kind of music. Nosotros no cantamos esa clase de música. Okay. What else? Imitate dance. Don't. Tim and then and Kate don't dance. Okay, Tim and Kate don't dance. Why I'm going to use okay, don't and dancing? Por qué uso don y no dancing? Porque está hablando de ellos, teacher. They, en ese caso sería they. Okay. Ellos no danzan, no bailan. Okay, um, if somebody, if you got any question, uh, don't forget to ask the question. No se trata solo de ir pasando las slides. Si hay alguna cosa que no comprende, pregunta. Okay, next. The sun plays hockey in negative. Sun doesn't play. Sun doesn't play. Sun doesn't play hockey. Okay, maybe the last the last sentence. Who wants to resolve this one? The boys play badminton. And the boys don't play badminton. The boys don't play badminton. Why do I use uh John? For que also done? For rule. The, the. No, it's third person teacher. Ah, okay. No, it's third person singular. Okay, nice. Okay, let me stop here. I'm going to make an stop. And now I need that all of you thinking at least two sentences. One uh, is going to be negative and the, another one is going to be negative. One positive, one negative. Okay, I'm going to give you a three minute now that you can uh, order your ideas and then, then you are going to share with me your sentences. Okay, time is starting now.
Lola. Logan. Who wants to start? American, welcome. Welcome back, America. Teacher, aquí está lloviendo bien, Reci, casi no le puedo escuchar. Okay, but it is, uh, uh, I'm really happy to see you again. Qué bueno verle de nuevo, América, bienvenida. Gracias, teacher. Sí, hasta el día de ayer, perdón por no haberme presentado antes. Hasta el día de ayer que llegué a la oficina me comentó el licenciado de recursos humanos que yo no estaba asistiendo a la clase. Yo le dije que a mí no me habían agregado todavía al grupo. Gracias a Dios ahora me cayó, ahora me cayó el mensaje para poderme unir, teacher, y gracias por la nueva oportunidad. Ok, hemos estado tratando de, de contactarla, pero nos enviaba al... al a... Al buzón, si sí, es que por eso se le envió un mensajito ahí, pero qué bueno verle de nuevo. Gracias, teacher, muy amable. Ok, welcome. Ok, who wants to start with uh, the sentences that I told you? Come on, you can do it. Si quiere iniciar. Hola, hola, hola. Okay, who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? Anybody? I don't see so. Okay, let me try to do something now. Okay, let us try to do this one, please. I'm going to show you uh, a, a series of multiple choice questions, and you are going to tell me which one is the right answer. And I, I am going to click on it. Okay, I'm going to switch the activity. Voy a cambiar la actividad porque no me funciona. Okay, let me do this first. Okay, I need that you read the sentences and then you are going to tell me if you consider that the one is A or B. 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 Okay, but if you want to do it, what you are going to do is that you are going to read that sentence, including the word that you consider is the right one. Si quiere participar, lo que va a hacer es que va a leer la oración, incluyendo la palabra que piense, que crea, que esté seguro, que es la que va en el espacio. Ok, who wants to do it? She doesn't usually go to a school. She, she doesn't usually walk to school. Okay, the next one is your uh is your alternative. Oh, one second, please let me mute all the microphones. Okay, I got it. Okay, the next one. Kate and Jen don't often wash the dishes. Okay, don't often wash the dishes. Dishes. That the right one is this one. 
John, open, okay, let me see. Okay, bingo, you got. Okay, the next one is Paola, it's your turn. Go ahead, Paola. I don't often watch TV. I don't often watch TV. Okay, let us see if you are right or wrong. Bingo, you are right, good job. Okay, next, somebody else, Ken Mas. I got more, more than 20 people, so uh, I need at least 10 that can participate. Gabriela, it's your turn, tell me, read the sentence. Gabriela, it's your turn. Read the sentence. Lea la oración, Gabriela. Art and I always go to the cinema. And Mark and I don't always go to the cinema. Mark and I don't. Don't always go to the cinema. Okay, let us see. Yes. Okay, somebody else, please. Alien Matt, por favor. My dog not eat ice cream. My dog. Doesn't teacher. Ah. Because it's it. Doesn't eat ice cream. Yes. Okay, because it's an animal. Let us see. Okay, that's it. Next one. Somebody else. <clears throat> My dog and my car doesn't eat ice cream. Oh, okay, read again. Be careful, be careful. Okay, léala de nuevo, por favor. Póngale atención, póngale atención. My dog, my dog, and my cat don't eat ice cream. Ah, okay. Por qué uso don? Porque son ellos. Ah, no son en tercera persona. Ah, okay. They don't eat ice cream. Okay. Porque tengo primero my dog y después tengo my cat. Okay. Perfect. Next one. Okay, volunteers. Voluntario, por favor. Candy. Okay, Candy. Do it, Candy. Anna doesn't play sport on Monday. Okay, Anna doesn't play sport on Monday. Nice. Okay, next. Somebody else, please. Uh, Giselle, it's your turn. They don't usually clean their room. Okay, they don't usually clean their room. Listen, they don't usually clean their room, okay? They don't usually clean their room. Okay, somebody else, please. Alguien más, por favor. Tengo mucha gente, pero no quiere participar. Francisco. I don't. Continue, Francisco. I, I don't like listening to rock music. Okay, me too. I don't like listening to rock music. It is for real, in my case, you know. And the last one. <clears throat> The last one, please. Giselle, you are there, okay? My sister and I 
don't like no. listening to rock music. Okay, my sister and I don't like listening to rock music. Okay, let us see. Okay, bingo, excellent. I don't know what happened here. We are starting another one. Okay, let us continue then. Somebody else. Francisco again. She doesn't usually work to a school. She doesn't usually walk to school. Okay. And let, ah, we got a bonus. Okay, thank you. We make a review in that way. Hicimos un review de esa manera. La conexión está quizás inestable. Tenía 20 y algo de personas y ahora ya tengo 16 otra vez. I don't know what is happening there. No sé qué está pasando ahí. Pero yo sigo acá. <coughs> And now what we are going to do is going to be this. Le había asignado una actividad, pero no la hicieron. Vamos a hacer otro intent. Okay, ahí están las instructions. Done and doesn't. Number one, we're in pairs. Number two, say a positive sentence. And number three, your classmate will say the opposite. Do your best. Don't or doesn't. The first thing that we need to do is just to work in pairs. The second one, say a positive sentence. <laughs> and the third one, your classmate will say the opposite. Okay, it is clear? Yes, go. Yes, teacher. Don't forget that as soon as uh, the breakout room finish, you are going to share your sentences with the class. You are going to do this in a breakout room, but please accept my invitation. Pero por favor, acepten la invitación porque muchas personas se quedan solitas esperando que ustedes ingresen. Y a mí me toca andar corriendo para entrar a las salas para no dejar a la gente sola. Entonces, give me a hand, give me a hand, please. Ayúdenme, ayúdenme, por favor, ahí. Teacher, puede poner un segundito solo para capturar la, la presentación que puso, la dedicación. Let me see what you are talking about. How about this one? Your teacher. Let us do it. Let us do it now. Let me create the breakout rooms. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, let me see the time that you are going to use is five minutes. 
Okay, here we go. I sent that invitation, please. I have a problem with one of you because you didn't accept my invitation. My goodness, I got that. Jonathan is alone. Jonathan, Jonathan. Hi, teacher. You are alone. I don't know why. <laughs> your, okay. your classmate didn't accept the invitation in order to talk with you. I don't know why, but I'm here. Um, what I need is that you create a sentence in a positive and then you can switch it into negative. Okay, teacher. Um, okay, go ahead. I don't, I don't like fish. I'm okay. positive with it. Okay, you you don't like fish. Yes, for sure. Okay. I, I like fish. Okay. In my, um, in my case, I say I don't drink coffee. Okay. Okay, you are I, you are going to tell me in positive. Um, positive. Yeah. Um, if I say I don't drink coffee, you are going to create it in negative. In negative. Yes. Um, si yo la hago positiva, usted la hace negativa. Si usted la hace negativa, yo la hago positiva. Okay. <clears throat> um, other example. I don't like. I know. I don't drink milk. I drink milk. Yes. A positive. Okay. A negative? It looks okay, it looks like the time is over, I guess.
Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. Let me mute all the microphones. So we had the opportunity to share the uh, what you talk about in the classroom. You can uh, mention the name of your classmate, and you can start talking about. Hey, tell me, please. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Dime, dime, dime. Eh, teacher, me tocó con Roxana y ella me dijo, he cook dinner y he doesn't cook dinner. He or she? He. Okay. Thanks. Someone else. Alguien más, por favor. Teacher, yo estuve con José Alemán, pero no le logré decir yo las oraciones mías a él. No sé si hay problema, solo tengo las que él me dio a mí. You can do it right now here, if you want. Me dijo la primera, I work from Monday to Friday. Negative, I... Sería, she, perdón, he doesn't work from Monday to Friday. Okay, he doesn't work from Monday to Friday, okay. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Giselle, Giselle. Eh, me tocó con, con my partner Edwin, but I have two sentences and he has two sentences. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, my example, the, the sentence is John doesn't speak French. And with in the two sentence, we don't have time. We, we don't have time for a quick drink. Okay. But my partner is a bullshit. Okay. Okay, hagamos. My ex. Okay, my hold, hold on a second. Hagamos lo más fácil, como lo hicieron en el breakout room. Uno menciona la oración en positivo o negativo y el otro la transforma para ir viendo el efecto. Uh, muy okay. bien. Okay. Lo que no, uh -huh. Do it, please. <clears throat> okay, partner. The, I don't speak Russian. She speaks English. Okay. Next sentence. Next sentence. Um, my, my sister doesn't like soup. Sir. Soup. Sopa. Ah, uh, soup. They, she, <laughs> your sister. My sister. Ahí tendría que ser his sister. His sister. Uh -huh. His sister has. So. Or or she. Uh, she likes. Uh, she likes. likes. Uh 
Uh -uh. She likes. She likes. She likes. She likes. It is positive. In this positive. case, positive. His... Negative. In in negative, she sis, she has sis, sister. His sister doesn't like soup. Like soup. Okay, she doesn't like soup. Okay. Okay, Pepper. Somebody else wants to do it? No? Let us continue then. Okay, let me see. I got a hand there, Jonathan, I guess. Yes, Jonathan. Teacher, teacher, my sentence is positive and negative. Um, I tried to positive. do it with, with, with the person that you work in the breakout room. One mention uh, in a way, and you are going to switch it into the, the country. Okay. Um, my sentence is teacher, I like a fruit, and negative, I don't like fruit. And the other one sentences, a positive, my son made his bed. A negative, my son doesn't make his bed. Is right, teacher, or no? My son the made his bed. A negative, my son doesn't make his bed. I got it. I got it. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let us continue. I know that some of you wants to participate. Okay, let us work this exercise that we have here. This is from the material. So uh, grammar extra practice. Simple present for the third person singular and plural negative statements. How to use simple present negative statements? Letter A, she does, she does not work on weekends. Letter B, they do not have much time. And we have the structure here. It is subject, auxiliary, do or does, plus not, uh, plus the verb, plus complement. And we have some example here. Maria doesn't or does not work at uh, HBBZ. Marcus does not stay late at work. Number three, Juan and Pedro do not write reports. And number five, we do not send letters. Okay, I need that you understand this chart. And give me some example based on that, please. Or if you don't want uh, to talk about this, what you can do is just a review about the whole class. All depends. Okay, let me hear you. Let me hear you, please. What I need are examples. Necesito ejemplos de esa estructura. Vamos. Teacher, sería eh, en el caso de la number one, María eh, subject. Yes. Eh, das es el, el auxiliar. Yes. Not is the negative part. 
sería, ajá, negative, ¿verdad? Yes. El verb, verb es work. Work. And the complement is at en, ajá. H -E -B -E -Z. Ese es el complement. Ok. Example, teacher. Teacher, I have a, a sentence. Okay, hold on. Let us see Edwin first and then you are going to continue because Edwin got uh, his hand up. Primero Edwin porque tiene su manito arriba y después continúe usted. Okay. okay. Edwin. Jenny does not play the guitar. Okay, algo que sí voy a, voy a recalcar aquí. Va a ser que en la forma escrita, acostúmbrense, si lo quieren hacer así, para escribirlo lo hacemos así. A la hora de hablar, para que sea más rápido y fluido, doesn't. vamos a usar doesn't. Ok. Jenny doesn't play the guitar. Ok. She plays the piano. Oiga, listen. She plays She... the piano. Haces una negativa, una positiva. Okay. Okay, thank you. So, Maria. ¿Quién sigue? Ahora sí. Ravi. I don't wash my hair. Okay, that is in, in positive. What about negative? Or, or create another one. I do not watch my hair. Okay. First, you are going to create one in negative, and then you are going to create another one related with the, the previous one, but in a positive way. Primero, si hacemos una negativa, Después hacemos un contraste con una positiva. Ok, let us continue. Paola. Ok, teacher. Pedro. Pedro does room, rooms in the park. Okay, oh, okay. hold on again. Repeat again, please. Pedro. Ajá, teacher. Acá, como la estoy haciendo positiva. Okay. ¿Es necesario el das? Pedro. Sería, Pedro das room in the park. No, en ese caso solo va a decir Pedro runs y le va a agregar ah, ese. Okay. Entonces, sería Pedro runs in the park. Sí. Como es afirmativa, el verbo tiene que ir conjugado. Ok, con ese, sí. Y ahora negativo. Pedro doesn't run in the park. Pedro doesn't run in the park. Ok. Run in the park. Ok. Ok, next. Somebody wants to do it? No. Teacher, teacher. Hello, sir. She doesn't read the newspaper in the morning. She doesn't read the newspaper in the morning, okay. But, pero, she watches the TV the TV news. Okay. Well, let me see the time now. Um, well, I guess time is over. I'm going to stop chatting. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta hasta acá de lo que hemos hablado. Eso debe quedar muy claro, por favor. Si tiene preguntas, hágalas. No se olvide las instrucciones. You need to keep your camera on. 
El que no tenga su cámara on es que no está ahí, me ha abandonado. Ok, Gabriela. Yo sé que I have a question. I know that you have a question. Sabía que le vi la cara de las dudas, sí. <laughs> yes. eh, había hecho la oración, I do my homework. Ok. En, en negativo, ¿cómo sería? I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't do my homework. Se repetiría el do. Sí, pero en ese Solo caso. Como porque, lleva el... Pero en ese caso, porque el verbo principal es do. Hacer. Sí. Ajá. Se repetiría siempre, ¿verdad? Así es. Vaya, pero si va, digamos, como eso ya es abreviando, ¿no? Abreviando. I don't do my homework. I do not. I do not do my homework. No, no solo sería tener, abreviado. Ya no puede tener dos negativos. Solo uno. I don't. Ahí ya no necesita decir not. Ya está ahí. Al menos que diga I do not. Ajá, eso. Este, ya sería como la regla de usar el, el don't. I don't la, do my homework. La, at the moment that you are speaking, you are going to say don't. But at the moment that you write, you can write it, I do not. It's up to okay. you. Okay, teacher, thank you. Pero nunca puede tener o decir, I don't not. No podemos tener dos negativos. Never. Okay. Never, 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 never. Okay, another question? No. Señores, aprovechen, por favor, cuando les doy la oportunidad a todos de participar. No quiero que al final vayan a decir, no, a mí nunca me llamó, a mí no, no, aquí. Cada quien se llama y dice, aquí estoy, quiero participar. Entre más lo hace, más aprende. Aquí ya no podemos ser simples espectadores, tenemos que entrar para poder aprender. Teacher. Una can, consulta. Can, I have a question. <laughs> Cuando yo hice una oración, puse María das, María das yoga. Y si fuera en negativo, el verbo vuelva a su forma original y sería eh, María das du yoga. María. Yo le hice en positiva. María das yoga o sería du yoga. No es tercera persona. Mary does yoga. Y en negativa sería, sería siempre, o sea, el, el das volvería a ser a su forma original, do. Sería María das en do yoga. Yes. Sí, porque ahí lo que estamos haciendo es usando el, el, el auxiliar nada más. Ok, teacher, thank you. For example, I said, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. He doesn't drink coffee. Pero el mayor problema se le da cuando está el do como verbo principal. Ajá, por eso le decía yo, porque yo intenté poner como el do, como el verbo principal. Ok. Entonces, por eso decía yo que si María, o sea, había puesto María, das yoga. En ese caso, pero le había puesto como en afirmativa. Sí, y en negativa, ma, ma, María das. Do yoga, no. Yoga, sí, porque uno, uno está, el das en esta auxiliar. Y el ah. es el verbo principal. Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok. Ok, una pregunta así rápida. ¿Cómo vamos con los ejercicios de la plataforma? El día de mañana cerramos la primera semana. Ya deben de estar esas actividades antes de las 12 de la noche. Pregunto, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Han comprendido con la forma de cómo resolverlos? Sí. Yo ya hice los cinco de la semana, teacher. Wow. Congratulations. Yes, teacher. 
al día. Ya los terminé, teacher. Ok, I got four. Ya completé los de la semana. Solo cuatro de 25. No, I can I can believe it. Ok, I invite you to do it. Tomorrow you can continue and other time you can finish with number one. Because in the, the next week you are going to resolve the midterm exam. No deje que se le vayan acumulando, por favor, porque a la otra semana toca hacer el midterm exam. Okay, let it let, let, let us shut the, the attendance now. America, are you there? America, ya no desconecta. America. Present teacher. Ah, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Ana Iris. Nahir, Blanca. Present teacher. Cecilia. Present teacher. Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Francisco. Gabriela. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Ingrid. Ivania. Jonathan. Present teacher, present. Jose Ernesto. Present teacher. Jose Luis. It's not here. Karina Vanessa. Not here. Se no voló. Catherine Marcela. Paola. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Candy. Good night. Present teacher. Ok. Mauricio Antonio. Present. Ok. Roxana Álvarez. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara Alejandra. Present. Janet. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Yesenia. Yesenia. Eh, Jessica Beatriz. It's not here. Ok. Y el, el uno a uno le corresponde hoy a Cecilia Maribel. Okay, for the rest, uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Remember, this is, uh, we are so close to finish the first week of this module. So try to resolve this stuff that we have in the platform, please. I don't, I don't hear my name. Giselle? Yes. Let me see, Giselle. Okay, you are here. Okay, I got it. I'm sorry. I do really sorry. Okay, bye bye. Good night. Take care. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.
make sure on my microphone. Okay, welcome. Just I tell me if you want that I speak in English or in Spanish, it's up to you. What I want is just to hear from you if you have any questions so far from here about the topic that we already have studied. Hola Cecilia, lo que quiero es saber si tiene alguna pregunta relacionada a algún tema de los que hemos estudiado en los días previos o en este día. Sí, Para poder, fíjese, poder ayudarle. Queda claro aún lo de how money y how much. Ah, ok. ¿Tiene, tiene, siente que, que no está claro. Ajá, uh, por ejemplo, en los ejercicios que hicimos, me equivoqué varias veces. Ah, ok, ok, le explico más fácil. Mire, el how much lo vamos a usar con nombres contables. Ok, hold on. How much lo vamos a usar con nombres no contables, I'm sorry. Y el how many lo vamos a usar con nombres contables. Todo lo que yo pueda contar, voy a usar how many. For example, if I ask you, let, let me ask you this. How many TVs do you have in your home? ¿Qué le estoy preguntando? Repeat again, please. How many TVs do you have in your home? ¿Cuántas, cuántos televisores hay en mi casa? Okay. ¿Por qué uso how many? Porque se pueden contar los televisores. See, ¿Sí? but if I ask you how much did you pay for them, ahí le estoy preguntando cuánto pagó por ellos y por qué uso much, porque el dinero es no contable. ¿Me comprende? El dinero es no contable. Es no contable. ¿Por qué? Porque no sabemos cuánto dinero hay en todo el mundo. Puedo saber lo que yo tengo, pero lo que tienen los demás no lo sé. Y ahí es ah. donde viene la contradicción. Y usted dice, no, si el dinero es contable, yo lo puedo contar. <risa> lo, mismo sí, sucede, lo mismo sucede con la leche, con el queso, con el jugo. Y para responder... La pregunta, por ejemplo, usted me acaba de preguntar cuántos televisores tengo en mi casa. Yo yes. le quiero decir que tengo. Le digo, I have two TVs. ¿Estaría bien dicho así? Podría ser, pero también podría decir. There are two TVs in my house. Hay televisores en mi casa. Ahí <coughs> uso there is o there are. There is a singular, there are is plural. Ah, ok. Lo mismo con eso, el home one. Eso, se, el home eso one. se vio en el, en el módulo 1. There is, there are, se vio en el módulo 1. Uh -huh. Ya se le olvidó. <risa> ya se le olvidó exacto. <risa> ok. Entonces, lo mismo sucede con el how much y el how many. El how many con los contables en el how much con lo no contable. Si yo le preguntase a usted, por ejemplo, how much star are there in the sky? ¿Cuántas estrellas hay en el cielo? No contable. Ah, entonces por eso yo uso how much. Porque no las podemos contar, ¿sí? Pero si, yo, pero si yo le pregunto, how many airplanes do you see? ¿Cuántos aviones mira? Ay, Eso sí me y usted mira el cielo y usted dice, I see one, I see two, I see three. Eso sí se puede contar. Sí. Ok, entonces no sé si le queda claro eso. Sí, hoy sí. Ah, ok, perfecto. ¿Algo otra preguntita que tenga? No, solamente esa, solo en esta me confundía. Ah, ok, perfecto. Muy bien. I, I do really appreciate your time and I hope to see you tomorrow because tomorrow uh, what we are going to do is a review about the whole topic that we have studied. 
Mañana lo que haremos es un repaso de todos los temas. Si hay algo que no quedó muy claro el día de mañana con los ejercicios que vamos a hacer, ahí clarificamos. Ok, está bien, dicho. ¿Y cómo va con los ejercicios en la plataforma? Fíjese que no me he quedado tiempo, pero mañana los hago. Solo una. Solo una he hecho. Ok, suerte entonces pero, que los pueda resolver a tiempo. Mañana los hago. Ok, good night, take care, bye bye. Good night, bye.